What's up guys, my name is Bobo Play. Welcome to another episode of Calgary Fantasy GM series. We are well in the middle of the off season. While I'm talking, we can just seem right to the September because well we are in the beginning of free agency actually as you can see, but we decided that uh, nothing really interesting is happening there and we don't really have that much cap space and that we will enter our final season basically with the team that we have built for all those years and uh, it was a successful team and like I always say I would never even think about taking credit for building this team because well it was a fantasy series always it was always a uh, kind of experiment kind of a you know what will happen if we will take all the good prospects and uh, build the team only from the prospects it's and it was a lot of fun i think uh, for you guys uh, as much as for me and uh, they were i i didn't really know what would happen i didn't know how those guys would grow and uh, also i did not know if we could keep really this good team with the oh god damn it yeah we need to clean we gotta stop and clean uh, our trading block so I remember people telling me that it would never work out because cap space will be too big and uh, well it, it's just not gonna work and they were partially right because we had some uh, times when we had to let go uh, players that we had and uh, substitute them oh, I'm sorry it's so confusing that they, that they have two many lines that start with the word GM it's it's just stupid you just you never need to do that you need to distinct all the things from each other not make them similar it's I think it's so obvious I don't know why uh, they can't figure it out I hope they will fix it in NHL 15 I hope they will fix a lot of things uh, so yeah what I was saying the surplus no don't want to give up any of my picks and everything from the trading block is also gone yes I want to make those changes so yeah we had to let go uh, some people but you know those main players that we drafted in the first rounds of this fantasy draft in the beginning uh, of the season one they all are still with us you can see McKinnon uh, Drian uh, I think that Barchi we also snatched in the beginning. Shifley was also one of our high picks. They all were, you know, 70, maybe high 70s players, and they we had to wait for them to grow to become a superstars, and they did, and they won four Stanley Cups for us in the last five years. So, yeah, it kind of works, and uh, yeah, it, it proves some things. And the main thing that it proves is that. Uh, Playing uh, people on the bottom lines is really is really uh, hurting their growth. It's it's a fact, and uh, I guess now a lot of you guys really uh, had an experience with that. Yeah, forty four wins. Okay, tenth year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. This year they will decide if we will keep you around for the next year. Well, I will not be sticking around, but you don't need to know that right now, dear owners. Yeah, let's scout, but I don't think that it's really our priority now. So yeah, it, it really hurts, but we will talk about all those things, uh, about tendencies and uh, what are conclusions we can, we can make. Uh, uh, from this series after the series will actually end and we have one more year to go and I don't know how many Episodes will it take but uh, I will try not to lose any time and yeah first thing that uh, we need to do is I think I haven't really fixed uh, Settings yeah, I didn't and we need to do that. We need to set injuries to off and uh, Rotates goalies to on Yes, yes, that that's it. One thing I want to say, people keep asking what will happen after the series will end. And uh, the thing is, is that I don't want to start a new GM series on the NHL 14. I want to wait. We have great series just beginning. Uh, you can check it out. Link is in the description in case if you haven't. And uh, 
it just began I think we're in episode 4 and it's really cool series uh, and uh, think, the thing is, is that I will probably start baseball managing series it will be basically the same thing like here all the all the same the game works pretty much the same as as this game you need to resign players you need to trade players you need to sim through the season you need to look at the uh, make some changes not in the lines but in pitching rotations and and in uh, lineups and it actually a lot of fun I played it for myself it's it's really it's really entertaining and I hope you guys even if you don't really you know like baseball as much as you like hockey but I hope that you will still check it out because it's it, it will be a lot of fun and, and we will be doing the uh, basically the same thing with the different game and uh, it it does not really happen that often on the YouTube not many of those baseball series is happening and I hope that we can do it great and I hope that you will support me guys so but yeah I am running a little bit ahead of time we still have one more year to go and yeah first thing that we need to do is we need to look at the players growth and you know I like it and I'm not looking on the screen yeah I start with the goalies always and Robicha yeah he jumped a little bit he's now 87 well he is still a little bit weak athletically uh, his vision is just 74 but other than that he is pretty good and I think he will be good enough and hopefully he will jump a little bit uh, later because he's still pretty young he's younger than uh, Vemelka. Vemelka was 23 I think and he was like 86 87 so he has one more extra year comparing uh, to Vemelka and uh, we will see um, how it will how it uh, will work out uh, Jones and Gormley both 90 overall they are our franchise players Hamilton starts to drop a little bit Murray on the contrary, I think uh, he's a little bit better now. Uh, depending on Ristolainen, and look at the uh, this Marco Heino. He finally uh, grown a little bit, and he is the sort of a depth in our system. And let's see who should play. Yeah, depending on uh, defensive category and physical physical category as well. You can see he is 91 for body checking, so he is fine. Ristolainen, he is more experienced guys, his body checking is weak, but his defensive awareness is 90 and let's look at Marco Heino uh, yeah he is he's a little bit weaker than both of those guys both in defensive awareness and uh, in body checking but I think that we gotta play him because well we are our young team and Ristolainen he made uh, great things uh, with us, uh, but we kind of yeah we kind of need to keep it young. And if we have our own prospect, he's our first round pick, 19th overall, and we need to keep him in. It's kind of our team poli policy. So I guess we need to really switch Ristolainen and uh, Heino. Yeah, I think I know it's it sucks that sometimes you need to let people go, but it's actually what you have to do. So, yeah, we have a change in our hand. Uh, Marco Heino will be our new top six defenseman alongside Diperna. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's how it works. Or should we trade Diperna? I don't know. Uh, I guess we kind of need to look at the stats to decide what uh, last year what he did for us 18 points uh, for and in postseason plus eight and three points and we just doing it based on the previous year uh, what he's done minus one eight points and postseason plus eight and no points so yeah you see kind of yeah, it's kind of got to be Ristolainen who goes and they make the same amount of money. Money is not that uh, big of an issue here, it's just we need to keep it young. So yeah, I want to play Heino. Uh, okay, let's look at the forwards. Yeah, we have a couple of guys who uh, probably need to play now. And yeah, I can see them already. Yeah, Drian, uh, McKinnon, McDavid, this is our... No, 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 with Scheifele is our first line. McKinnon, uh, Sherbach, 
Barchi dropping a little bit. Booth. Uh, he's in the minors. Sprung. 83. Harding. Aston. They're not growing. Dwyer. So we need to bring up both uh, Sasaki and um, Sasaki and Booth. How many players do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12. So Dwyer and Brace, they can go and... Yeah, we need to see... Yep. It's interesting call because we have Sasaki who is a two-way forward and he listed as a second line uh, forward, but... I don't think that we will be, or should we play him on the second line? I don't know, no. We cannot play both uh, Booth, uh, he's a two-way forward also, so it's it's not the way it works. And Booth is much stronger player right now, so I think that Sasaki needs to play on the third line. Yeah, he yeah, he looks he looks really, really decent, and I hope it will not hurt his... Uh, hmm, it will not hurt his growth. And Sprong, yeah, it looks like he will be our fourth liner. Well, it's not, it kind of sucks, and I know he's a sniper, but his defense is five star, so he can he can hold it. And uh, he did a pretty great job. You see, 31 points on the third line for us, and in playoffs, he also did nice. Yes, 10 points. Play, it's all playing third line, so uh, yeah, he will be a good sport, and he will do a lot of good things for us playing fourth line. So. Yeah, we gotta make space for our young players. This is kind of a, our policy. Skvartsov, he's a grinder and he, he probably will be good to go next year. He he can hold it on the fourth line uh, even right now, but he's listed as the minor league player and uh, also we have we don't really have a space for him, so he will be playing in the Myers, Sonny, we drafted him. Yeah, we we drafted him a couple of years ago. Yeah, I remember the year we won the Stanley Cup, and he was our pick. And yeah, maybe he will grow or something. I don't know. So uh, we actually can do something here, and you know what? We have some assets that we need yeah let's take care of our lines oh well this is taking so much time i was hoping for a quick uh, you know, line building and then a simulation but yeah this this will take some time uh, some time from the simulation so yeah mcdavid is the first line center Druin is a right winger like he always been sherbuck yeah we have to play sherbuck here with yeah shifley is playing here booth He's playing here. Yeah, they say that I should put Booth. No, Shafel is listed as the first liner and Booth as a second liner. So I, this is exactly how I will be playing it. Barchi. You know what? I don't know. If we say that. Uh, how old is Sprong? Sprong is 25 and Barchi is 29 and he's making a lot of money and he still has have some years left and uh, I'm sorry so you know what I kind of want to let Barchi go maybe and maybe get a decent uh, player for him back or should I keep him I don't even know he he done nice job he had 36 points on the third line and in postseason He's also did well. You know what? Yeah, let's keep it like that. Maybe we can do some moves on the deadline. So, yeah, Barchi, he's an 85 overall. So, he will be playing on the first line. And I think Aston, yeah, Aston has like 80 plus. Yeah, he has 80 face-offs. And Harding is, uh, yeah, 69. He's a beast, but face-offs is not his strong suit. Uh, Heino, Diperna, yeah, that's all fine. Power play. Oh, uh, yeah, Shifley. Booth, yeah, I want to play Booth. Hamilton, Deperna, yeah, that's all fine. For me, Foreman, power play, yeah, McDavid and Drew and Sherbuck and Shifley, yeah, that's perfect. Penalty kill, Harding, Booth, Fox, and Druin. Yeah, Booth, I get, he's a great player, but Druin, 
Is he that good defensively? Yeah, he's a little bit weak physically, so I don't really uh, like seeing him. I can even throw in Sasaki in there. I think it will be good for him. Yeah, he can do it. You see, 87 defensive awareness. Or maybe it should be Aston. Yeah, we need to figure it out. Harding is already playing there, but Aston... No, Aston actually is not that... Yeah, he's not really uh, looking like a player that can be good in time. And we signed him for really, really small money for 8 years. He's making like 2 mil for 8 years, so... The uh, game is not expecting him to grow. So yeah, I can throw in Sasaki to see what he will do. Murray, Gormley, yeah, that's all fine. Three man power play is fine. Maybe I just wanna, yeah, uh, switch them. Here is McDavid, Druin, Sherbuck, and oh, it should be Shifley. Like we play on the power play. Shifley, and here it should be. Booth and McKinnon. Yeah, they can do it. Bo Bo Booth is a great face of taker, I think. Yeah, A1. And McKinnon, how good is his face offs? 74. So you know what? Yeah, we that's this is the kind of a move that we need to make actually. I know it looks weird, but yeah, we will play natural center on the left wing and natural left winger in the center because Booth uh, he can take those face-offs and also on the power play we'll do the same thing uh, I kind of feel that it will help uh, simulation so we should do that and here is also Booth should be playing and Foxa, you know what? I want to put Foxa and Booth our two th second and third line centers like our best defensive players yeah, here yeah, four and four lines. Where we stopped? Druin Jones, perfect. Robicho is nice. Sh shootout does not matter. Abbott's fort, not much to look at. Duarte yes, Sports Social will be playing. And that's basically it. In the net, who do we have in the net? Tobot and Scrotter. Don't care for those guys. Ristolanian. But we gotta make some moves because we have some training assets that we don't really need and I think we can we can get something in return so on the second thought trading those guys is not really such a great idea so maybe we can just move on and we can just let this idea go and we maybe think about trading them on the deadline so yeah we got our line set uh, yeah we can go to the end of October just like that yeah, let's go. I think we, we can we can do a couple of months, maybe even three months. You know, good three months. It all depends on how quick we can go. Uh, make conference semifinals. Yeah, of course. It's funny that you say it. Sasaki. Yeah, start with the goals in his first preseason game. Nice to see. Always nice to see. Another great game looks like. Well, it's not really that big of a deal. But hey, it's nice to see Robicho, Robicho jumped. Robicho looks like a perfect trade right now. He makes me, like I already said many times, he makes me look like a genius because uh, it's just, uh, yeah, we picked him up for Vimelka. We, oh, by the way, we need to check out Vimelka. We traded Vimelka to Boston. What are they doing? How Sherbuck scored eight goals in six games? I don't know. But he seemed to always do that. Whoa, that's that's impressive. I know it's only preseason, but it's freaking impressive. Let's see what they can do in in an actual season. Can they be that type of dominant? Okay, let's start. Let's start with San Jose. And Sasaki scores on his first NHL game. Maybe he scores on the first shot. You know, like those Mario Lemieux type of players they always do it seem seems uh, yeah Sherbuck with now four goals in two two games and looks like putting Booth in the center is really helping out simulation I, I know I know that I may be uh, saying it too soon but look at the two games and they Sherbuck four goals Booth uh, four assists sometimes in this game like you probably know 
maybe if you watch my series uh, for some time, sometimes you find the line that just click and the team is just just winning and it feels like you know the simulation uh, we just cracked it basically. We we cracked it open. We and the game uh, and we cannot fail basically because we do it right like simulation. Uh, we pay attention to the things that simulation engine is really thinks uh, are important, and it's it's all working perfectly. And maybe, just maybe, I don't want to rush it or anything. Maybe this is uh, one of uh, those years, because yeah, so far it looks impressive. It's it it really does, and uh, looks like our goalie is playing great, and looks like everybody's playing great, and yeah. Oh, but no, it, you see, it's not even a regulation loss. 6 0 oh, 1. That's a decent record for the first month. Yeah, let's let's see. If we will win the Chicago, I will say this is perfect. No, we actually had a regulation loss. I see. You see, I jinxed the team, so let's just see. Robicho is second in the goals against average. He's fourth in the. Save percentage, yeah, that's looking nice. I don't know why we're looking. Yeah, but wins, of course, he is in the lead. Booth has 11 points, third in the NHL, tied for second, actually. McDavid is second. Yeah, you see, first line is doing nice. Uh, nice job, too. Uh, Sherbach is second with goals. Booth is first with assists. Of course, it's too early to, to say. Yeah, we're first by one point in the, in the NHL. We're leading. Yeah, that's all fine. Let's just go through another month here uh, and then maybe, I don't know, we will see. I think we will have time for, you know, three months of simulation right now. Okay, nice, nice win. Rabicha with a nice game. Weaker than normal. Okay, maybe, maybe it's good that we decided that we don't want to get any draft picks from the draft oh another regulation loss but i don't know i don't know what to expect from the from the regular season i know that we will be a playoff team and all the evidence even so early in the season kind of shows that we will be and uh, one of those record-breaking seasons you know with the dallas we had this uh uh amazing 66 win season well of course you guys uh, told me that it's basically nothing because some of you guys had 77 win seasons, 79 win seasons and of course that's that's just amazing and I, I cannot imagine have a season like that so maybe I'm just you know building team wrong or something I don't know yeah November proves to be as good as, as, as October for us we now have 11 wins and we are pretty much cruising through the season Sherbach has already scored two goals and they seem to work well with Booth yeah, seven goals and Sherbach scored I think I think he had 10 or 11 I don't know so he scored three or four on this game and Booth uh, gave up uh, like four assists or something I don't know you probably noticed I did I didn't really okay so yeah we, we were doing really well and it's it's always nice on the one hand on the other hand you gotta don't know what to do with the team like that because well it's just mm, just moving and moving and uh, you know what the thing I read some wish list on, on some forums to NHL 15 GM mode and somebody suggested and I think this is a really great idea and I would love to get it uh, you see Ro goalie rotation is really nice it it makes you really comfortable you know just going through the season but it kind of you kind of give up all the controls so uh somebody suggested on the forums and the wishlist that it should have been like you know like a hot button for switching your goalie right from this screen without going into the menus and i think this is an awesome idea because it will really uh, make it much more entertaining going through the season simming. So you will have to kind of thinking, oh, when I should put my backup, what kind of ratio should it be? And it will be much faster than just uh, going into the edit lines menu. And it will not really uh, take that many time, but it will be just awesome. Yeah, trust me. 
you know what? I don't want to go. I see that we're doing really, really fine and that we're leading the NHL. Let's just go to the end of the December, to the end of the calendar year, and then we will do the wrap up and we will finish up the episode. So I will not be even looking on the quick stats. So this button would be awesome because it will give you a little bit more control and it will be the same level of convenience as it is right now. You can really, they should keep the, the option of just uh, auto, automatic rotation of goalies and stuff, but this option would be would be really, really nice. Okay, scouting, scouting. We, we probably should look into the scouting, just see what's available where. First rounders, Gamble. What a nice, what a nice last uh, last name, Gamble, for a hockey player. I think it's amazing. Where are all the players? And where are those top top five guys and stuff? Maybe defensemen. CMJHL. Looks like they they kind of spread through the through all the leagues. Or maybe there is a strong goalies, like super goalies. Let's check it out. Nope. Nope. It would be fun to see, you know, all top five goalies in one country, but no, that's not the case. Maybe it's just, oh, let's just look at the defenseman. Okay. And let's move on. We're doing really, really well. And we haven't done any simming in the other uh, GM series that I'm doing. We will begin this simulation in the next episode. And it will be so exciting to finally have East Conference team because uh, those Western Conference teams and we're playing, you know, Vancouver, Edmonton, and well, in postseason it's always Phoenix, Edmonton, and blah. It would be really nice to have another teams, the teams that you never see actually. Yeah, that, that that would be really cool. Okay, uh, we we lost a couple of games, but no need to worry. Sherbak, uh, basically, season is two months old, two full months, and Sherbak already has almost twenty goals, nineteen goals. So it's it's pretty impressive. Yeah, we 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 lost a couple of games, but and Booth with twenty seven assists, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, we're still doing pretty fine. I don't think that we will be breaking any season records by wins or points, but yeah, we are we're dominant. Like we are dominant force and everybody knows that they will lose to us. Or it will be no surprise. We are kind of, you know, those heavy favored teams in basically any game that we pick up because we, we have the best record. It's always how it works. But yeah, you see some teams being underdogs, they, they still surprise us. And losing 4-1, to I don't know what it is. Oh, not a loss. Yeah, I think we lost like 4 of the last 5 or something. I don't know how many of those games exactly were in uh, overtime or shootout, but it's kind of troubling. Nice, nice comeback. We lost to St. Louis, but we came back with a nice win. Booth with... 30 assists already. What what kind of season he's having? Moving him to the center looks like a genius move. But of course it's just I just got lucky. Okay, nice shutout. I'm really interested to see what kind of stats Robicho puts out. What kind of Oh this oh this hurts. Losing 4 nothing, it's uh to Vancouver. Vancouver sucks, so I guess we just did not took them seriously enough. Okay. Okay, last game. Oh, nice 6 nothing win. And yes, let's look at all the stats. Uh, Robicho is actually not high in those uh, lists. You see, he is 6th uh, in the save percentage and 8th uh, in the goals against average. Not perfect. Not perfect. He leads in wins. In points, we have 3 our guys, Shifley, Sherbuck and McDavid. Basically tied for 5th. All of them, well, McDavid has one point less, but it's still fine. And Booth, who is not in this group, uh, looks like he's not a goal scorer whatsoever. He leads NHL with assists. Sherbuck is third with, with uh, 22 goals. Uh, 47 points for Montreal and New York Rangers on the east. And 54 points for us. And 
two more teams with, with 47 points in the in another division so yeah we are leading the whole NHL let's oh no 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 what 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 well let's go to team standings just to see goals for per game yeah we score a lot of goals it's no surprise I kind of knew that it is like that goals against per game were also the best okay uh, power play goals power play is perfect basically second in the NHL but power play goals were actually leading you see 33 goals penalty kill oh what an amazing percentage looks like yeah it's all working and that's why we're winning we only lost one home game 16 won one lost away record is not that good so we are one of those you know home teams that's fine we just need to figure out how to perform a little bit better uh away from home but yeah it's 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 fine it's always great when your team has like undefeated home record and you know that it's always fine, fun to come uh, to arena and you will see a great performance and all that stuff. Yeah, let's look at the forwards. Uh, Sherbach, amazing season so far, as well as Shiflin McDavid. Booth is not really a goal scorer, but he has a lot of assists. What kind of shooting category? Because, oh yeah, his shooting category is not really as good as everything else. And that's why it's happening like that. Drian. Well, he slowed down a little bit compared to his point per game player, but he really he's out of the spotlights for some reason, but that's not a big deal. McKinnon is also doing fine. 8 goals, 24 assists. Austin Sasaki from the... Uh, he's basically... Well, he's not a half a point per game player, but something like that. He already scored 6 goals. So depth goal scoring is alright. As well as Barchi, they're all doing fine. Faxa... Faxa, it's a little slow for him because we kind of, he is really producing great from bottom lines, you see, and I think he played, this season he played like fourth line, so I don't know if he will give us 15 goals this year, but I will certainly hope that he will pick it up. Sprong with 8 goals, you see, this is, yeah, he's a great sniper, and even playing fourth line, he's doing fine, and Harding and Aston, yeah, that's, that's, that's all fine. Harding is the only minus player, but it's probably because he's not really scoring anything. Okay. Uh, so Sprung. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's wonderful. Let's have a quick look on the defense. Uh, Jones uh, performing nicely. Murray. Hamilton Gormley has a little bit slow season. Uh, Heino is also, he already scored his first goals. Uh, he's two plus two. He's even on the plus minus. That's 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 all right. Oh, he already scored a game-winning goal. That's that's sweet. His shooting percentage is actually better than any of other defensemen. Okay, and let's look at the goalies. Yeah, this is. I knew that it would be like that because uh, our goals against average. Team-wise, were better than Robichaud, so I, I figured out that also in his start did wonderful. Yeah, he's the perfect backup for us. He always does a nice job. Uh, you see, this th this is and this is his best year probably. He haven't lost. Uh, oh, he lost one game. I'm sorry. Robichaud, team scores enough, but I would like him to pick it up. Maybe you know he's one of those shutouts. Anybody had any shoutouts? I think yeah, of course. Two shoutouts for Olsen in uh, how many starts? In seven starts. Two shoutouts, wonderful, wonderful. And Robichok has four. So yeah, that's that's all looking really, really fine. And I don't think that we need to make any changes. The only change that I probably would like to make, maybe, uh, I would love to hear your opinion, guys, is maybe to find. A way to play Sprong more because he looks like he scored eight goals uh, on the fourth line so this guy is a sniper maybe we can use him better maybe we can switch him with somebody who's playing on the power play so please please suggest anything and yeah so far uh, so good so I I will not complain this is a great season so far and hopefully we can bring it back and please leave a like if you enjoyed this episode uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't follow me on twitter and i will see you in the next one thanks for watching